Hi Libra and welcome to your June. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Libra. And so we can get a sense of the energies and messages for the month to help you navigate the events that uh, you will encounter. So let's see what is going on for, get these in frame for you. So the first two cards that I choose, this is the awareness for the week. So for the first card we have, we have the two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles is telling you to uh, try to stay in balance, that you have a lot going on this week and that you are working hard to keep it all together. And in life we have uh, obligations, we have family responsibilities, perhaps school responsibilities, relationship responsibilities, and it's hard to juggle everything. And so this is a reminder to you to do your best to try to stay in balance, to, if you need to move uh, something from one area to the other part of your list, then do so. Also, this would be a reminder to you to pay attention of your finances and just to be on top of that because uh, often when we're talking about pentacles, we're talking about our money, we're talking about our resources, our time, our energies. Another area that you should be thinking about or that's going to be on your mind here is the another two card, and this is the two of wands. And so wands is this fire energy. It's about our passions. It's about our desires and enthusiasms, things that make us feel really good and satisfied. And you can see the merchant here, he's holding the globe and he's standing out looking at the horizon. And this is a sense of uh, really thinking about what you want to do. So this week, you may be considering new opportunities, new places to travel, new areas of your career that you want to investigate. But this is really the beginning of manifestation. You're really thinking about something here. And so your awareness for the week of what you need to focus on, two of pentacles, finding the balance, staying in balance, juggling. If you are incredibly busy, then find a way to create some time for yourself, maybe to focus in on a couple areas that might need specific attention. So. The next part of this reading is the guidance of what the cards want you to know in terms of how to move forward. Okay, so your guidance cards, we have the Hermit. And the Hermit is telling you to think about yourself, to take time out. You've been busy, you have some, a lot going on this week, you are uh, trying to keep it all together, and that can be exhausting, it can be stressful. And so the Hermit is saying, take this lamp and maybe retreat, if you're able to, take a day for yourself, maybe take an hour or two and really just kind of um, uh, think about things. It's really a simple message. The Hermit is about thinking about your own actions, where you are, where you're going, what you're hoping for. It's self-reflection. It is gaining enlightenment and knowledge about yourself. And often we, uh, you know, we need to disappear for a bit to do so. This could also suggest this week of talking to someone who's wise within that you consider wise, someone who's experienced. Perhaps there's someone that can help you in terms of finding the balance. So then as part of guidance, we also have the chariot. And the chariot is a card of movement. 
And it certainly goes hand in hand with the two of pentacles because this card, you've got a lot going on and you're moving forward to whatever it is you're hoping to accomplish this week. And the chariot, we see the charioteer, he's in control. He is a master of driving this, this uh, chariot. He's able to negotiate and to navigate the black and white sphinxes. And it's representative of being pulled in many directions directions, which is certainly the messages that we're seeing here with the Two of Pentacles. You know, you have to be able to uh, guide this craft or this um, chariot with skill. And having skill in life means handling situations and being pulled in different directions. The good news is that you're going to be successful. Whatever it is you're hoping to achieve this week, you're going to accomplish it. This is a card of victory. So your guidance would be to, to stay in control. If you're feeling that you're losing control and that you're out of balance, then do your best to grab the reins and to really hold on tight and to chart your course on a literal level. This can suggest travel, travel by car. Maybe you're going somewhere. Maybe you're taking a trip. Maybe you have business meetings that you're going to be driving a distance toward. So the chariot is about movement and it's about success for this week. And so the last part of this tarot section of this reading is two cards that show uh, possible outcomes. And again, we have willpower, we have will, so it's just a possibilities, possibilities for the week. So possibilities for the week, we have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords can suggest sadness, some heartache, some pain. Perhaps there's interactions with a loved one, a family member. Someone's going to hurt your feelings, and it doesn't feel good. So what's interesting is that of all of this movement and balancing, here's this emotional component. Even though it's a swords card, and it's an air, air sign card, there's this component here that you may have your feelings hurt. You also... You know, sometimes I read this as, you know, you might actually have some aches and pains. You know, when we see all the swords, some readers suggest that it could be surgery, but um, this is a sense of heartache, betrayal perhaps, a disappointment, something hasn't quite worked out the way that it you wanted it to. And here's the moon. The moon is telling you, it's a little bit of uh, uncertainty and anxiety, perhaps. And the moon can be, uh, we think we're going down one way and we're, we're lost. We're totally lost. We, th we thought we were going the right direction and it didn't turn out. So this moon card is really, again, I would say it's about the deeper recesses of your mind, of what's going on, of what you're thinking. You may be... Uh, having secrets, maybe uh, you're holding on to secrets that's led to a disappointment, um, and perhaps maybe a secret, if we look at the shadow side of this card, maybe a secret has been revealed to you and has caused some type of heart hurt. Heart hurt. So interesting week thus far of finding the balance, working toward all this uh, completion perhaps and, and mastery and success and having skill and having control, creating, manifesting, thinking about things, a little bit of hurt, maybe something that you would hope to manifest a relationship and a, a job opportunity didn't quite um, turn out the way that you had hoped and you're feeling a little uncertain. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. And this is kind of a general theme or meditation point here.
moment to moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what an interesting card. Moment to moment. Boy, sometimes when we're so busy in life, we feel that we're living moment to moment. That we don't have any deeper sense of reflection or thinking forward that we're just trying to get by. We're trying to make everything work within our life. And it's hard to have uh, the sense of looking at the long picture, which is, you know, really what's happening in the Two of Wands. You're looking at the long picture. And I would say to you to think about live in the moment. Enjoy the moment and the present because that's where you are right now. But there's never any harm in, in visualizing and seeing where you want to go of where you're headed. So let's also pull a card for spirit. This is the spiritual side or emotional side. Let's see what messages we have. This card is forgiveness. Uh, holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Uh, resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human con emotions. And, you know, it, it's hard to go from a three of swords of feeling that pain to just, yeah, I forgive you. I think it takes time. And for many, uh, they feel that they'll never be in a position to forgive. And that is someone's choice. You have to make your own choices about the people that have hurt you in your life or the situations that have disappointed you and maybe things haven't gone the way that you had hoped for. And, uh, you know, perhaps it's just time. We all have this sense where we really feel we could get on the bitter boat with forgiveness if, if we are unable to find forgiveness and that bitterness eats away at us. And finally, let's pull a oracle card for love. Let's see what we have for you for love. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. And you know, this is a beautiful card. And one of the things that strikes me about this card is act as if your partner is here. And in terms of manifestation and creating and visualization, that's how you should always think, is to act as if uh, you're in the vice president, you know, if you're uh, your vice president of regulatory affairs or whatever it may be, act as if you have the job that you want. Act as if your partner is there with you because the sense of believing, it restores your faith, it makes you believe, it gives you hope, and it sets the positive mindset. So it's a beautiful card. So if you are single and if you're hoping to meet someone, then visualize what they look like. Visualize how they talk. Do they talk uh, with an accent? Do they speak with a lisp? Are they, uh, do they have a nervous giggle? Think about how they look. Think about what they do and think about how you feel with them and imagine that. And that's, you know, that's one, <clears throat> one way to, to get toward the partner of your dreams. So Libra, I hope that you found something helpful here with this weekly reading and I wish you the very best. And if you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. And I thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this reading, then check out my monthly reading for June. It has a, it's a little bit longer format and um, a different uh, spin on, on the reading. So I, I wish you the best. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.